Yes. This is also episode 79 of the Clive Barker podcast, and uh, I'm Ryan, and, and... I'm Jose. You're Jose. Hi, Hi guys. Yeah. So we're, we're also going... Uh, it, we may have other people joining us, and we'll just kind of introduce them as they come along if they join in. We had some people say they were going to, you know, it's... Yep. It's really late in the rest of the world, so we won't. Uh, we our feelings won't be hurt. Well, um, we, yeah. So this it's going to be posted live after the the hangout is over. So you know, you can yeah. spectate right now, or you can uh, join the call. Just yeah. uh, let us know. Post a message on the uh, Clive Barker podcast page event, and we will see it, and we will invite you in. Okay. So, and before we get started on the raffle, we wanted to kind of talk a little bit about some Clive Barker news. Um, I guess just really briefly, the first one, uh, Javanka Vukovic uh, is going to be at Texas Frightmare Weekend. So that's kind of cool. I mean, she's um, th this is the first time she's gone to a Clive Barker-related event, you know, as a kind of a signing type of a thing um, for... Uh, you know, she she's got a short film, but this is also be for a movie that isn't is that it's in pre-production, or hopefully we'll get into production soon. Yeah, some of our prizes are actually tote bags <laughs> promoting this movie. Uh, yeah, and various yeah. TV and movie uh, fairs out there. Yeah, yeah. So looking forward to that. Um, and if you're in Texas, definitely go say hi. Um, oh, uh, a new Clive Barker short story, or previously unreleased short story, is going to be in Mammoth Book of Best New Horror 25th Annual. Uh, the story is called A Night's Work, and it's about uh, a horror author that can't sleep, so he can't figure out if he's dreaming or awake. Mm -hmm. That was kind of in the synopsis anyway. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Um, and then this last one, oh, Clive Barker's Undying... Uh, PC Gamer gave it a pixel boost, so I guess they took the GOG version of the of the game and and uh, and uh, upresed it as high as they could, I guess, to make it look a little more high definition. And and they talked a little bit about the game. I, I thought they, that was kind of cool to to see that coming back and being in the spotlight a little bit. Yeah, I saw some people commenting on that bit of news that uh, they were talking. Um, they were saying. Um, you know, maybe this time I'll get to finish the game because I've never finished the game before. So oh, really? maybe this is a good reason to go back to the game, yeah. I did a couple of times. You know, I think at the end I had to uh, save a lot and, you know, keep I kept dying and having to come back at my save points. But, but uh, other than that, it wasn't too terrible. Mm -hmm. um, so that's it for the news. Should we jump right into the drawings? Yes, and last time we had a little bit of an accident... Uh, yes. He had like the glass dome, and uh, little Joey was gonna pick one, but he wasn't. He was picking them all out of the uh, the bowl. So. Yes. Yeah. He picked them all out, and then I was shaking the bowl, and I, it broke on him, and he cried, and it's all on video, which was you know crowning achievement. Uh, so anyway, but yeah, here is the here is this. Uh oh. What did I just do? Okay. I unplugged the HDMI port for a second there. Okay, so here is the stuff. So here's the bowl. So we'll... Uh, oh, so for the first one we're doing, right, uh, is... Do you, do you want to do the squishy replica puzzle box first? Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, okay. So for the squishy replica puzzle box, it's kind of like a stress ball, only it's a box. Um, we will draw a name from one of the people who, who bought a ticket. So let's see here. Um, I'm not going to look because I can kind of see him. All right, here we go. Brad, Bradley Gartz. So you got hey, a squishy hey. puzzle box. All well, right. So you know the twice on the same spot. Yes, yeah, Bradley Gartz was our winner last year, and thank you so much, Bradley. So you won the Squishy Puzzle Box. Let's make a note here so we can remember that. The, um, are any of the people these contestants? We don't have any. Uh, is anyone watching? Or is anyone watching right now? Do we have any spectators? 
All right, let me check real quick. Just curious. Okay, here we are. All right, we don't have anybody else right now. Um, okay. Max Lichter is going to watch. Yeah, so I, saw I would that. probably invite him in. Uh, Max, would you would you like to join us? Let me. Uh, yeah. Let me post here. Actually, that'll be really good too. Um, uh, as as Max comes in, he could probably show us a physical copy of the squishy stress ball. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Add names. So. Oh, and I've got my Dark Delicacies T-shirt on. So shout out to Del Howison and Dark Delicacies. All right, I'm going to invite uh, Max Lichter of the Pyramid Gallery to join us. Cool, excellent. Yeah, I noticed you were you had like a really fancy T-shirt tonight. <laughs> I had a Hawaiian shirt right. with crabs on it before, so I switched. Let's see if it works. I've invited uh, Max Lichter. I sent you an invitation. Let's see if we can uh, get him live. All right. So Max is a, a really good friend to the show. I got to meet him actually in uh, at uh, the f New Jersey. Yeah, um, Monster Mania, the Hellraiser reunion one in 2012. So Max. I hope you can see us. Um, we're we've invited you to join us. Uh, please post on the page. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I'm going to invite him in again. Hang on. Uh, okay. Well, we can just keep, we can keep going with the drawing, and then when Max comes in, he can show us the squishy okay. puzzle box. Sounds All good. All right. So so next thing. Uh, oh. Sacrament, uh, the first edition. So here we go. So this is the first edition. I put one of these library dust jackets on there to protect it, but those they're just folded on there and taped to themselves, so they don't they don't damage anything. I, I really like these. But anyway, this is uh, and this is this is inscribed. Uh, it's personalized to Jennifer. Best wishes. <laughs> so so this was Jennifer's copy. If um, really nice. <laughs> yeah, so Jennifer donated this, and if you know somebody named Jennifer, you'll really be able to impress her. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, I think we've talked about this really briefly, but if you get something and you already have it, or you know, or it's not something that you would want, just let us know, and we'll throw your name back in the pot, and we'll put these into next time. Uh, so, so Bradley, if you don't want a squishy puzzle box. Let us know, and we'll throw that into the next drawing. Uh, and and same with whoever wins this uh, this personalized copy of Sacrament. Okay, so here we go. Who are we gonna pick? Okay, got one. David Anderson. Hey, David. Congratulations, All right. Man. We've known David for quite a while on the on the uh, Clive Barker forums, on uh, on um, Fifth Dominion. So yeah, awesome, David. So you would win Jennifer's copy of Sacrament if now you want. You can make a, another Jennifer very happy. By That's right. Her. Yep, yep. You'll impress another Jennifer somewhere. Speaking of which, hi Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There was somebody that on online. Somebody was saying. I think it was Paul Fluitt was saying he would feel really bad winning your copy of of Sacrament. So maybe you can tell everybody that it's okay. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I've read the book. I read this actual book, and I was happy with it for sure. And I'm happy that it can go to somebody else who will enjoy it. Uh, Equally as much, if not like ten times as much, because you're connected here. So that's All right. awesome. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Cool. That was great. All yeah. right. So, uh, so David, David won sacrament. I'm gonna write this in here really quick. If I don't make notes, everything will be chaos. Okay. All right. So maybe uh, maybe Max isn't around. Mm -hmm. 
All right. All right. One last time. I'm going to try to invite. I'm going to try to invite Max Lichter into the call. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, we'll do our next drawing. So this is the Epic Hellraiser comic poster. Um, this one's a second copy of the of of mine. So, or wait, no, I think this is the one that was hanging up. Well, I think if I have two, I'll give you the nicer one. Um, Joey told Jennifer that this was scary. So that was the end for this hanging up in our garage. But I've, got a, I've got two copies of this poster, so if I find the other one and it's in and it doesn't have the pinholes in the corners, then I'll give that one away instead. But uh, it's a nice poster. I really like it. Unfortunately, jo Joey said there's a scary man in it, so now <laughs> now it's on the now it's at the. It's in the well, rack. you know, it's it's a rare promotional poster. It is. I mean, I it's it's not easy to find out there. Yeah, and um and Mark uh, Mark Miller from Seraphim donated one of them, and uh, and then I had the other one hanging in my garage. And this might be the garage one, but I'll find the other one if if that's the case. So anyway, let's uh, let's draw again. The wonders of live broadcasting. Yeah, okay, so looks like Stephanie Irabarin. Hey. Yeah, All right. so she, she joined us on one on a, a podcast earlier. So congratulations, you won this Hellraiser uh, epic comic poster. Yay. Yay. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, you know, now you too can hang that in your garage door. Yeah. Toddler says not to. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. I hope I hope uh, our friends can watch this. I've posted the yeah. link to the event. All you got to do is press play on okay. the actual event page. So. And you can join us in progress, and then watch it a hundred times after it's over, at least. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Yep. Okay. Uh, next up is. Uh, Book of the Damned, number one. So, and I'm keeping, I've kept it in this bag. Should be in, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, if Max was here, he would tell us what an awesome book, Book of the Damned is. He's he's really really big into them. Uh, it's in yeah, good he, shape. He it doesn't us. have any creases he on the this for the episode where we cover the books of the damned. Yeah, yeah, and and actually that was a that was a, one of your conditions when you very first started was that we needed to, if we we're doing talking about books of the damned we needed to invite Max. So exactly. before yeah before we even had any episodes that we'd done, uh, you had mentioned that, and it it took about a year before we got to books of the damned. But uh, but when we did it, we invited Max, and it's a good thing we did because he knew a lot about them. Oh yeah, and I think also Mark Buckle joined us. Yes, yeah, that's right. Uh, both definitely Hellraiser enthusiasts. Okay, so here we go. Book of the Damned, number one. Okay. Let's see who this one is. Kip Jankowski. Hey, Kip Jankowski. All right. All right. Congratulations. Book of the Damned, number one. Okay. Okay. So the grand prize, and for people watching this that haven't read our posts or anything, you would have a choice of either a musical lament configuration by um, Pyramid Gallery and Max Lichter, or the musical Lost configuration. And I don't have a Lost configuration. If Max was here, he could show us uh, what it looks like. But here's the musical lament configuration. Uh, it doesn't play the Hellraiser music. It plays a different song because of copyright issues, right? But, yeah, you kind of turn, twist this thing here, and it plays music. It's really nicely made. Um, I don't know how Max does these. He does such a good job, but uh, they're awesome. And you can see I, I Max have, at a lot of horror conventions and stuff selling them. I have three of the musical boxes, and they're just magnificent. Yeah, yeah. So you get your choice of this one, which is a popular choice, of course, because it looks just like from Hellraiser. 
uh, or the Lost configuration where Max uh, takes the, the lore from the Books of the Damned and kind of has gone off and done some of his own, you know, they've done some of their own designs and had guest artists do designs. And I think you know more about how all of that works than me, but uh, I was, you know, for my first one, it's like I, I went with what I knew, and so this is the one that I got when I saw them in, in uh, when I saw them in New Jersey. Okay, so this is the big one. This is the grand prize for this drawing. Uh, and before we draw, I just I did want to say this isn't our only drawing, right? We're gonna we're planning on having yeah. several of these. Uh, we've got yes, a lot of stuff to give away, and e with each drawing, we've got um, several smaller prizes and one grand prize. Um, so this is the grand prize for this drawing, but each one is gonna have something cool like that. Um, so, you know, as we collect enough raffle tickets, we'll say, okay, this Thursday we're doing another drawing then because we've got enough. Um, so here we go. Excitement. You know, who's going to get yeah, the who's configuration? Gonna... Yeah, or the lost configuration. Oh, and we did want to mention also before I draw um, that since Max Hand makes these, they, uh, it'll be available and shipped around mid-October. Um, if you win, so so let's see who gets this. Um, okay, what have we got? Ellen DeGarmo. Hey, awesome! Yeah, yeah, cool. that's amazing. That's an amazing prize. I mean, congratulations! Yeah. Yep. There we go. It's like yeah, awesome draws, great prizes. Please, you know. Any un, un, any tickets that didn't win are going to remain in the bowl for the yep. next drawing. But of course, let's let's get some more tickets in because otherwise, yeah. we don't want to have less tickets than prizes left. Yeah, yep. that's no fun for anybody. So uh, um, yeah. So anyway, um, that was the last prize for this drawing. We plan on doing more drawings. We keep bringing in more tickets, uh, like Jose said. Um, in, in, and if you have one of these, or you, you'd rather put your name back in the pot, just let us know, and we'll we'll move your thing over to the next drawing and put your name right back into the bowl. All right, um, and I think that's it. Uh, so I would say bandwidth for this podcast was provided by all these nice people that uh, that paid for raffle tickets. Thank you very much for your support. I mean, yeah. you're, making, you're making our work possible. You're making the podcast uh, stay alive and afloat on the internet. Mm -hmm. And what can I say? We do this because we're fans. We love this, and we love Clyde Barker's works. So we also like to share some of our conversations and our opinions about them, which is yeah. uh, apparently entertaining for a lot of you people out there. So thank you for your support. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you are a winner, contact us and give us your information. And the things that are the things that are here, I will ship out personally. And the things that are sent by some of our donors um, will be shipped out from them. Or so I think. Exactly. Yeah, Mac, like, like yeah. the box, like the lament configuration. Yeah, yeah. This one is mine for an example, but you'll you would have one like that, or the lost configuration, which is also really cool. Which was right. designed by Anna Lavat, who also designed. Or produces the Le Marchand Squishy. Oh yeah, yeah, right. And yeah. and she worked on Hellraiser too, right? Yes, she worked in the uh, the effects team with Image Animation for Hellbound Hellraiser two. Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So cool. Well, this was fun, and uh, we plan on doing more of these. So keep keep bringing those raffle tickets in, so that we can keep doing more more raffles. Um, we're close to having enough tickets for the next one, but we do need a few more. Yeah. So please, you know, anything, if you if you can spare it, I mean, it, it, it's going to go straight into the podcast funding. It's it's going to go straight into hosting and website expenses. So yeah. none of this is for profit, obviously. It costs Ryan and myself uh, hundreds of dollars to, yeah. to keep the, these things up. So, yeah. in, Unless we change it some kind of format in the future, I mean, this is what we're doing now, and it costs money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the future, we, you'd, you know, we would love to advertise or something, you know, get advertising or something, but we don't have that right now. So, we're um, 
we're a little bit cursed because we are such a specialized podcast. I mean, there are all kinds of horror podcasts out there, but we, you know, we specialize in just Clive Barker. So uh, yeah, we've got a narrow Detroit. audience of very devoted, uh, very devoted people. Yeah, well, we try. We try to to do our homework and mm -hmm. bring as as much as possible about the works of Clive Barker to you guys. So. Thank you for uh, listening to us. Yeah. All right. Well, and everybody out there, have a good night. It's I know it's really late, especially on the East Coast. Exactly. So that was the first drawing of the Clyde Barker Podcast Presents Fundraiser 2. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us. And Thank you. We'll... Uh,